Welcome back NYC Fragrance family. Back with another video. Kind of like a versus video. I have two fragrances to talk about if you look at the thumbnail. So just to start off as a disclaimer, as far as Sauvage Elixir, Dior Sauvage Elixir goes, I haven't smelled the original. I haven't gotten to a Sephora or a Macy's to be able to test it. I don't have the original. So for me to compare it to those two fragrances, I can't. But what I can do is tell you what I think about these two fragrances and how they compare to each other. So, first let me go with the Assad. Latoff is Assad. You guys have seen this bottle. Right now there's a big Latoff kick going around the community. Reviewers left and right are doing Latoff fragrances. And you'll probably see a few from me. Why? The price point that these fragrances come in The quality that you're getting compared to what the originals are and how they compare to the originals are almost spot on. You know, do you really need to have a fragrance that smells exactly like another fragrance? Or do you need a fragrance like this one that just works? I mean, I just saw this on Amazon for $25. I mean, 100 ml bottle compared to a $160 60ml Sauvage Elixir. But I'm not gonna compare it to that because I can't. I'm gonna compare it to my friend over here from Dua. So this is 100ml going for $25. Excellent quality. Love the smell of it. The spiciness, the patchouli, the cardamom, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, all that stuff that's in it that just makes it this elegant, masculine, rich, you know, it is a showcase type spell. This is definitely something that you could signature without a doubt. My other friend here is Savage Elixir by Duo. Now Savage Elixir, you got a 30 ml. This is an extra at the Parfum concentration versus an older Parfum concentration, so it's a little stronger. Now the thing with Duo, and I don't really like to waste much because they're small bottles, but I will waste the spray because I have to show you something. Do has come a long way with their fragrances. See that fine mist atomizer. The one thing that I've noticed with Do is the newer ones with these newer atomizers, they'll last longer as far as keeping the juice in it. It won't spray out as much, much juice as it used to. It sprays out a nice fine mist and that's pretty much all you need. From something like this, one or two sprays when I put this on and you can see I've worn it I've worn it quite a bit. There's a lot out of there. At least there's a good top portion, maybe a close to close to a quarter of it gone. This I've worn it with one, two sprays, maybe three at the most when I'm really wanting to get the feel of it. And this thing works and works and works. So now what do I think as far as the two fragrances themselves? Well, they do smell almost exactly similar. What I will say though is the Dua is definitely a stronger concentration. The Dua definitely outlasts the Assad, but you have to consider price, right? Or price per ml. Are you willing to pay $60 or $48 when you get the Dua 30 code for 30 ml extra at the Parfum concentration? Or do you wanna spend 25 to 30, maybe 35 at the most on a 100 ml bottle of Eau de Parfum concentration, that'll last you probably a good seven to eight hours. The Sauvage Elixir from Dua, you spray it on your shirt, until you wash that shirt, it will smell like that fragrance. That's all I'm gonna say. It is a performer like most Dua fragrances, and I think I wanna do a video to go over my Dua fragrance collection, because I have quite a few Duas, and maybe you guys understand why I have them. And I like to share some of them. Some of them are tribrids, hybrids, original blends even. And some are clones of mostly the discontinued type fragrances or fragrances that are just so expensive that I wouldn't go out and buy the original. That's just the way it is. So when I compare these two, what, do I, what does it come down to for me? I like, I think I like the scent profile and the way the wearing is with the Dua slightly more than the Asad. I enjoy both. They are both very good. But the Dua just does a little more for me. I think it's just richer. I think it's just bolder. It stands out a little more. It pushes more. 
it just gives a better wearing as far as I'm concerned. Now, for the price point, the Assad is a great buy. So for those of you that don't want to spend the money to buy the Dua for and getting less in the bottle, you know, 100 ml compared to 30 ml, that's a decision you have to make. Personally, if I'm looking for something like this and if this do, they both do smell like Dior Sauvage Elixir, I would have to pick the Dua. That's just me personally. I would splurge and get the Dua. I think I enjoy wearing it more. The Aside for me is a more subtle, more everyday fragrance to wear. I think the Dua makes more of a statement. It's got more of a presence. It's just richer and bolder. For me, in this comparison, the winner is the Dua. The only point that Dua would lose out on is price per ml. But as far as the quality, as far as the scent, as far as the wearing experience, the Dua wins as far as I'm concerned. So I hope you took a lot away from this video. For those of you that maybe have been thinking of buying one or, one or the other of these fragrances, or maybe both, I hope this helps. New viewers, thank you for stopping by. New subscribers, thank you for joining the NYC Fragrances family. And my NYC Fragrance family, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate everything you do, sticking around. I love the comments I get. I like to go back and forth with you guys. I know some opinions may not jive up with me, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, everybody has their own opinions, and I share my opinions in these videos. So, until the next time, remember, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day.